What's up, my beautiful people? It's Irat Max with Double Tap Coalition. And today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing on the Infotech Fast Mini Thermal Optic. For the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna be doing an unboxing going over the contents that's actually inside the box. And the next video will actually be mounting and going through the features of the optic. It can be mounted on things other than the pistol. I believe I'm going to end up putting mine on the rifle at a later date. But for the beginning phases of the testing and the review, I'm going to be using the pistol for this optic in particular. Again, this is the Infotac Fast Mini Thermal Pistol Optic. This is your boy Irat Max. Let's go ahead and get into this box. Yeah. All right, so I'm not going to make this a real lengthy video. We're just going to go over the contents that's inside the box, what comes with it when you purchase it. So before we even get started, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all that MSRP. Right now, MSRP on this is gonna be $699, so that's gonna put you in a ballpark about $700. I do expect them to hit the market for a little bit under $700, bucks, but right now I got an MSRP of $700 on the Infotech itself. All right, so opening this thing up. Actually, let me start over. I do like the nice case they come in. It kind of puts me in the mind of uh, Trigicon Optic. You already know if the case is durable, you're getting a quality optic in there. So as we open this thing guy up, man, the first thing you get is the actual optic itself, which it does got a little bit of weight to it. I, I can't really see myself putting this guy on the pistol. It got a little bit of weight to it. And I don't know about y'all, but I know for me, and my handguns, I really don't want anything like super, super heavy on my handgun, man. You got the camera right here in the front. We got the display right here. Open lock button. I haven't looked at any of the features, so I'm not sure what they are right this second. I know we got a type C outlet right here. <laughs> the optic feels durable. It feels quality in terms of you getting what you pay for. We got two CR2 three volt batteries right here that come in here. So looks like this optic is actually gonna end up being battery powered. Let's go ahead and pull this foam out. Put the optic back in there like that. Next, we got our USB-C cable. I'm not sure if this is for charging or if it's for data transfer. We definitely gonna take a look at that manual and get that figured out. We got our mounting screws, it look like, Allen key. So with that being said, ah. Ah, so we do got a mounting plate in here. I'll be getting into the footprint and the mounting options in my next video. I will put the link down here. I do plan on having that done soon. Got a cool patch. Infotech sticker. <clears throat> I can get down with it. I'm not really a sticker guy. Yeah, I got excuse me. I got a little sniffles and all that good shit. So we got just some um, Infotech paperwork. We got the thermal pistol sight user manual. This is important. A lot of us don't read these, right? I don't know why, but a lot of us get these books and don't read it. We come straight to YouTube to try to figure it out. Man, take some time and read your manual. Me reading it, giving you the feedback, is cool and all, but you need to read your own manual. Uh-oh, hold on. Shit, come on now. All right, so we got a thermal zeroing target. So I'm gonna read this real quick. Main ingredients is activated carbon, iron powder, uh, vermiculite, resin water salt. How to use it, you're gonna open up the seal pack and take out the heat pad, remove the anti-stick paper from the back side of the heat pad, stick the heat pad directly to the target in a desired location, perform zero on procedure. Hmm. So it's a thermal optic and they give you a thermal zero on target. Me, <clears throat> personally, I plan on using the hand warmer, taping it to the back of a target, throw it out there, boom, not good, I got heat out there. So that's pretty dope. The duration of the pad to remain hot is 20 to 40 minutes, depending on the weather condition. If it take you more than 20 to 40 minutes to zero a thermal optic, my people, you gotta go back to the drawing board on that. That's that's crazy. 
There is no need to shake the heat pad. It will warm itself up. Do not cut or damage the heat pad while taking it out. The heat pad is air activated. Do not open the pad packaging until you are ready to use it. And the good old people at Infotech did give two of those inside the packing. And we got a look like a microfiber cleaning cloth. So it's not bad. It's not bad for a thermal optic. This is my first thermal optic. I'm not a thermal optic person. Infotech did, in fact, send me that out for the free ski. And I will be forever grateful for that. I'm definitely gonna take a look at this manual and um, see what we got going on. <clears throat> Let's see if I can put this back together how it can. We got ready to run into some problems, hold on. Come on now. I don't know about y'all, I like to keep stuff in, in order. Come on, man. Now y'all know this packaging didn't come like that. But anyway, that's gonna be it for my video, y'all. I'm probably gonna end up cutting this a little bit. All right, there we go. As you can see, we got a little close up on this optic again. It's the Infotech. It looks dope. It looks big, like a TV screen. <clears throat> It looks big like a little TV screen. I don't know how y'all feel about having a mini TV screen on top of your pistol, but that's what it looked like. I thought Hollow Sun was gonna drop theirs. Look like Infotech beat them to the punch. So there we go. Infotech Thermal Pistol Sight Fast Mini FMP13. That's the back side. They got six month extended warranty on it. Ah. A lifetime with six months extended warranty. Infotech, baby. Let's go. Bye.